Imagine a blinding flash, a wave of heat so intense it melts steel, cities reduced to rubble. This is not science fiction. This is the potential reality of a nuclear war between the US and Russia. A nuclear exchange would unleash unimaginable destruction, killing millions instantly and leaving countless others to suffer the agonizing effects of radiation sickness. The very air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat, all would be contaminated. A global nuclear winter triggered by massive firestorms would plunge the earth into darkness. Temperatures would plummet, crops would fail, and ecosystems would collapse. The threat of nuclear war is real, and it demands our urgent attention. The seeds of conflict between the US and Russia were sown long ago. The Cold War, a decades-long geopolitical rivalry, cast a long shadow over the 20th century. Proxy wars, political meddling and military buildups have fueled a dangerous cycle of mistrust and animosity. Both nations possess vast nuclear arsenals, a chilling reminder of the stakes involved. The Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists has repeatedly warned of the growing danger of nuclear conflict. The emergence of new technologies such as hypersonic missiles and cyber warfare increases the risk of miscalculation and escalation. The Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962 serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of peace. We must learn from the mistakes of the past and recognize the perilous path we are on. The path from tense standoffs to full-blown nuclear war is frighteningly short. One possibility is a miscalculation during a crisis, where escalating tensions and misinterpretations lead to an unintended nuclear exchange. Another danger lies in the potential for accidents or technical malfunctions. Early warning systems, though sophisticated, are not foolproof. A false alarm, a computer glitch or human error could set in motion a chain of events with devastating consequences. The proliferation of nuclear weapons to other states or even non-state actors adds another layer of complexity and risk. Cyber warfare poses a unique threat, potentially crippling a nation's ability to respond rationally. Miscommunication, mistrust and the willingness to resort to violence are a dangerous and potentially apocalyptic cocktail. The moment a nuclear weapon detonates the world as we know it ceases to exist. The initial blast vaporizes everything in its immediate vicinity. Buildings crumble, bridges collapse, and entire cities are reduced to smoldering ruins. A blinding flash of light sears the surrounding landscape, causing instant blindness. A massive fireball engulfs the surrounding area, igniting uncontrollable fires. The shockwave flattens everything in its path for miles. Millions would perish in the initial blast, but countless more would face a slow and agonizing death from radiation sickness. Beyond the immediate devastation, a nuclear war would trigger catastrophic environmental consequences. The initial explosions would cause unimaginable destruction, but the long-term effects could be even more devastating. One of the most dire is the potential for a nuclear winter, a prolonged period of global cooling caused by massive amounts of smoke and soot injected into the atmosphere. This smoke and soot would come from the burning of cities, forests, and other materials. The intense heat from nuclear firestorms would loft billions of tons of particulate matter into the stratosphere, blocking sunlight. This blockage would prevent the sun's rays from reaching the Earth's surface. This would have a dramatic cooling effect on the Earth's surface, potentially plunging the planet into a deep freeze. The temperatures could drop so significantly that it would resemble an ice age. Global temperatures could plummet by tens of degrees, leading to widespread crop failures, mass starvation, and a breakdown of the food supply chain. The agricultural collapse would be catastrophic, and the collapse of ecosystems. Many species would struggle to survive in the drastically altered climate. The effects of nuclear winter could last for decades, disrupting agricultural cycles and altering weather patterns. The altered weather patterns would make it difficult for ecosystems to recover. The environmental consequences would be felt for generations. The scars left on the planet would be a constant reminder of the devastation. Survival itself would become a daily struggle in a world forever changed. The harsh conditions would test the resilience of humanity, in a world forever scarred by the consequences of our actions. The choices we make today could determine the fate of future generations. In the aftermath of a nuclear explosion, one of the most insidious and long-lasting threats is radiation. Invisible to the naked eye, radiation can silently penetrate the human body, damaging cells and DNA. Acute radiation sickness, characterized by nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and hair loss, 
is just the tip of the iceberg. Long-term exposure to radiation can lead to cancer, birth defects, genetic mutations, and a weakened immune system. The effects of radiation exposure can be passed down through generations. Children born in the aftermath of a nuclear war would face a lifetime of increased health risks. The medical infrastructure needed to treat radiation sickness would be overwhelmed or non-existent. Even those who survived the initial blast would face a world forever altered by radiation's presence. The detonation of even a single nuclear weapon would send shockwaves far beyond the immediate blast zone. The global economy, intricately interconnected, would collapse, plunging the world into a deep depression. Financial markets would crash, currencies would plummet, and international trade would grind to a halt. The production and distribution of essential goods would be severely disrupted, leading to widespread shortages. Governments around the world would struggle to maintain order and provide basic services. The social fabric of society would fray as people resort to hoarding, looting, and violence. The international community would struggle to mount a coordinated response to the crisis. The world as we know it would cease to exist, replaced by a new world order characterized by scarcity and conflict. The psychological and emotional toll of a nuclear war would be as devastating as the physical destruction. The sheer scale of the catastrophe would leave deep scars on the collective human consciousness. The trauma of witnessing such horrors, the loss of loved ones and the constant fear of radiation would leave an indelible mark on the human psyche. The overwhelming sense of helplessness and despair would be pervasive. Rates of post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, depression and suicide would skyrocket. The mental health crisis would be unprecedented, affecting individuals across all age groups and backgrounds. Survivors would grapple with survivors' guilt, questioning why they lived while others perished. This guilt would be compounded by the loss of their homes, communities, and way of life. Children, especially vulnerable to trauma, would suffer the most. Their formative years would be overshadowed by the constant threat of danger and the absence of a stable environment. Growing up in a world forever altered by nuclear war, they would inherit the emotional burdens of their parents' generation. The psychological impact on these young minds would be profound and long-lasting. The social fabric of communities would be further eroded by widespread mental health issues. Isolation and mistrust would become common, making it difficult for people to come together and support one another. Addressing this crisis would be essential for rebuilding a sense of normalcy and hope in a post-nuclear world. Mental health support and community rebuilding efforts would be crucial in helping survivors find a path forward. The horrors of a nuclear war are not inevitable. We have the power to prevent such a catastrophe, but it requires a collective effort. The first step is to acknowledge the gravity of the threat. We must move beyond the rhetoric of deterrence and embrace a world free from nuclear weapons. This requires a renewed commitment to diplomacy, dialogue, and arms control treaties. We must invest in conflict resolution mechanisms and strengthen international institutions. Education plays a crucial role in shaping the next generation of leaders and citizens. Civil society, too, has a crucial role to play. Grassroots movements and individuals can raise awareness and advocate for change. Preventing nuclear war requires the active participation of all of us. The future of humanity hangs in the balance. Our world stands at a critical juncture, teetering on the edge of potential catastrophe. The choice before us is clear. We can continue down the perilous path of nuclear brinkmanship, risking unimaginable destruction, or we can choose a different path, one that leads to lasting peace and security. The pursuit of peace is not a naive ideal, but a strategic imperative. It requires courage, vision, and unwavering commitment from all nations. Nuclear weapons are not a solution to the world's problems. They are a symptom of our collective failure to resolve conflict peacefully. Their existence perpetuates fear and instability, rather than fostering security. True security lies in the creation of a world where such weapons are unnecessary, a world where trust and cooperation replace suspicion and hostility. We must demand that our leaders embrace diplomacy and work towards the complete elimination of nuclear weapons. It is a moral and practical necessity for the survival of our species. The survival of our species and the future of our planet depend on it. Every moment we delay, the risk grows greater and the stakes become higher. Let us choose peace and a future where the horrors of nuclear war are relegated to the history books. 
A future where our children can live without the shadow of annihilation. The fate of humanity rests in our hands. Together we can build a world where peace and security are not just dreams, but reality.